people are talking about Thames Water because it looks quite possible that the company will go bust. Now, there are lots of technical reasons behind that, but the biggest one is that the debts owed by the parent company of Thames Water have currently defaulted, which means they have not been paid when they fell due. And therefore, there are question marks about whether the company itself can survive. And it has said it can only do so if it puts up water charges by 40% to the 25% of people in England and Wales that it supplies water to. Now, that's absurd. But what would it cost to nationalise the company? Labour says it can't afford to do that. And my answer to that is that is nonsense. And the reason why is very quite straightforward. When things like the mines and railways were nationalised in 1947, immediately after the Second World War, by a Labour government, Labour didn't fork out cash to pay for those assets any more than any government would now need to fork out cash to pay for Thames Water. They would issue bonds in exchange for the loans and the shares in Thames Water that the government wanted to acquire. Let's not worry about the value that they will pay at the moment. Let's just talk about the fact that if they issue bonds, no cash changes hands. And all that happens is that they commit to paying interest for a long time into the future. How long? 50 years or more? When the cash would eventually have to be paid? And in the meantime, what would the interest rate be? 3% or so. Totally affordable. The company should be able to cover that out of income made. We can afford to nationalise Thames Water.